lots of response regarding my monologue from last week pertaining to the latest way the World Economic Forum plans to make our lives miserable. Yes, they want to take away our cars in the name of appeasing Mother Nature. Or is it Greta Thunberg? Jeez, give me a break already. Roboprops writes, Personal cars are the ultimate sign of freedom. They hate individual freedoms. Call me bastards that they are. Oh, so true, uh, Rob Props. This is not about environmentalism, but rather pursuing a Marxist agenda. And by, by the way, what is the greatest threat to the planet these days? Is it climate change or is it COVID-19? And if it is indeed the latter, isn't the car the most hygienic way to get around when it comes to, you know, social distancing, as opposed to, say, squeezing oneself into a jam-packed bus? Gee, whatever happened to follow the science? Friend of the King writes, WEF, yeah, okay, sure. I will share my car when you start to share your limos and jets, you hypocrites. Indeed, heck, I'll simply settle just for the chauffeur-driven limo in a trade. Alas, as much as I would, as I would love to globetrot around the world uh, like a typical WEFer, my beloved Prime Minister won't let me leave my own country. Northern Paladin writes, how about getting on China for creating 40% of the world's emissions? Oh, that's right. The WEF is on China's payroll. Well, it sure seems that way. And one thing is for sure. We all know how committed China is to the so-called green agenda these days, given the number of new coal plants this country continues to build on an annual basis. Meanwhile, China is increasingly controlling the world supply of those precious metals so needed for EV batteries. Does anyone else find this disturbing? Boxlore writes, I will resist the WEF at all costs until my death. I'm with you, Boxlore, as the saying goes, death before dishonor. Truthfinder55 Main writes, the WEF backwards is few. Is that not what they want? Fewer people, fewer cars, fewer energy, which leaves it for the few. These people must be stopped. Well, holy Riddler, great observation, Truthfinder. But they only want the great unwashed masses to downsize. Judging by their rides and their planes and their hotel suites, the WEFers are all about conspicuous consumption, but that's okay. They're special people, after all. And Breaky Joe writes, Well, as someone that doesn't even have a license, it's time I got me three vehicles. Eat it close. Wow, talk about the Barbara Streisand effect. Welcome to Club Car, Breaky Joe. You're going to love it. And try to get a car with a manual transmission while you still can. Happy trails to you, my friend. Hey, folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.